In the centre of the Australian continent exists a very strange magnetic anomaly that stands out amidst the region. This is the story of MAPSIS, the massive Australian Precambrian to Cambrian impact structure. A hypothesised impact crater that could be among the largest known on Earth. It's speculated that a 600km wide crater exists from a massive asteroid that slammed into the Centralian superbasin at some point in the Precambrian to Cambrian era. If confirmed, MAPSIS would not only be a remarkable geological feature but also a crucial piece in the puzzle of the Precambrian to Cambrian transition, a period marked by profound environmental and biological changes. When the asteroid that created the MAPSIS impact structure struck Earth, it did so from a dramatic and oblique angle, carving a path of destruction across the ancient landscape of what is now Central Australia. Unlike a vertical impact, where the asteroid would plunge directly downwards, an oblique impact involves the asteroid hitting the surface at a lower angle, more like a skipping stone across water. This kind of impact produces distinctive geological features, and has far-reaching implications for the environment. The journey to uncover MAPSIS began with a series of geophysical anomalies detected in Central Australia. Researchers noticed a pronounced circular gravity anomaly, which suggested the presence of a large buried structure. Further investigation revealed an extensive pseudo-tacolite breccia deposit in the Musgrave block, located on the southern flank of what would later be identified as the MAPSIS structure. Pseudo-tacolite breccia is a type of rock typically formed under extreme pressure and temperature, conditions that are often associated with meteorite impacts. MAPSIS is proposed to be a peak ring crater, a type of impact structure characterised by a central uplift surrounded by a ring of mountains or highlands. The estimated diameter of MAPSIS is approximately 600 kilometres, making it larger than some of the largest known impact structures on Earth, such as the Vredeford Crater in South Africa and the Sudbury Basin in Canada, both of which I've made a video on. You can find a link to these videos in the description below. The structure is slightly oval in shape, with its long axis orientated east to west, and is centred in the heart of Australia's outback. The evidence supporting MAPSIS as an impact structure is compelling. The Musgrave block where the pseudo tacolite breccia is found provides some of the most significant clues. This breccia extends for over 300 kilometres, and can be up to 5 kilometres wide. It is strikingly similar to pseudo tacolite found in other confirmed impact sites, reinforcing the idea that MAPSIS is indeed the result of a massive extraterrestrial collision. Further supporting the impact hypothesis is the discovery of Lonsdalite, a rare hexagonal form of diamond that is typically associated with meteorite impacts. Lonsdalite forms under the extreme pressure and temperature conditions created when a meteorite strikes the Earth. Raman spectroscopic analysis of samples from the Musgrave block confirmed the presence of Lonsdalite, adding to the growing body of evidence that MAPSIS is an impact structure. One of the most intriguing pieces of evidence for MAPSIS's impact origin is the detection of high concentrations of iridium within the pseudotacolite breccia. Iridium is a rare element on the Earth's surface, but is more common in meteorites, making it a key indicator of extraterrestrial impacts. The levels of iridium found at MAPSIS are several orders of magnitude higher than what would be expected in the continental crust, suggesting an impact source. The iridium anomaly is not unique to MAPSIS. Similar anomalies have been found at the Precambrian to Cambrian boundary in other parts of the world, including China, Russia and Tasmania. The discovery of iridium at MAPSIS could help to link these global anomalies and provide a more comprehensive understanding of the events that occurred during this pivotal period in Earth's history. MAPSIS's potential significance extends beyond its immediate geological features. There is a hypothesised connection between MAPSIS and the Kulkaringi Large Igneous Province, a massive volcanic event that occurred around the same time as the proposed impact. The Kulkaringi Large Igneous Province is a large volcanic province on Earth, and its eruption may have been triggered or influenced by the impact that created MAPSIS. The Kulkaringi Large Igneous Province represents one of the major volcanic events in Earth's history, occurring approximately 510 to 500 million years ago, during the early Cambrian period covering an area of about 2 to 3 million square kilometres across northern Australia, this large igneous province is characterised by extensive flood basalt eruptions. These volcanic activities released vast amounts of lava and gases, potentially leading to significant environmental disruptions, including climate change and ocean anoxia. The scale and intensity of the Kulkaringi large igneous province make it one of the more prominent geological features of the Phanerozoic Eon. 
and its timing coincides with critical biological changes during the Cambrian Explosion, a period marked by the rapid diversification of life on Earth. The relationship between the Kulkaringi Large Igneous Province and the Cambrian Explosion has intrigued scientists, as the environmental impacts of such a large volcanic event could have played a role in shaping early animal life. The emissions of sulfur dioxide and other volcanic gases would have likely led to acid rain, ocean acidification and a drop in global temperatures, creating challenging conditions for existing species. These harsh conditions might have driven evolutionary pressures that contributed to the rapid emergence of new life forms during the Cambrian period. This connection raises the possibility that the impact could have had far-reaching effects, not only causing local devastation but also triggering volcanic activity and influencing tectonic processes. The spatial and temporal correlation between Mapsus and the Kulkaringi Large Igneous Province suggests that the impact may have played a role in the rifting between the North Australian Craton and the South Australian Craton, potentially stimulating plate tectonics in the region. If confirmed, Mapsus would be a monumental discovery with profound implications for our understanding of the Earth's history. The Precambrian to Cambrian transition, marked by the Cambrian explosion, was a time of rapid evolutionary change, with the sudden appearance of many major groups of animals. An impact of the scale suggested by Mapsus could have been a catalyst for these changes, contributing to environmental shifts and mass extinctions. The discovery of Lonsdalite and the high iridium concentrations at Mapsus provides a unique opportunity to study the effects of large-scale impacts on Earth's geology and biology. These findings could help shed light on the role of impacts in shaping the planet's surface and influencing the course of evolution. Previously, the Daniloquin structure in New South Wales was thought to possibly be the largest impact structure on Earth, with it featuring a 520 km diameter crater. I made a video on that and you can find a link to it in the description below. If Mapsus turns out to be an impact site, it would take the throne as being the largest known impact site on the planet, meaning Australia would have two of the largest known craters in the world. Mapsus is a fascinating and potentially transformative discovery. The evidence gathered so far strongly supports the hypothesis that it is an impact structure, and further research could confirm its place as one of the largest known impact sites on Earth. The implication of Mapsus are far-reaching, offering new insights into the Precambrian-Cambrian transition, the interplay between impacts and volcanic activity, and the forces that have shaped our planet's history. As research continues, Mapsus promises to be a key piece in the puzzle of Earth's early history, revealing the dramatic events that have shaped the world we live in today. Whether it ultimately proves to be the smoking gun behind the Cambrian explosion or a driving force behind ancient tectonic shifts, Mapsus is a discovery that could change our understanding of the deep past forever. Thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I've released a video on the marsupial lion which existed in Australia during the time Indigenous Australians walked the continent. I've also covered the wombat that was the size of a car, known as the Diprotodon, or the largest terrestrial lizard known as the Megalania. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel and to the aforementioned videos in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.